Hey guys, what's up? It's Low for Low Nose. Now, huge and exciting news for Logitech C922 users. Your camera just got freaking awesome. No more driver, no more software issues. All because of the Windows 10 Creators Update. Up next. And I just lost my sunlight. I'm not using any uh, light right now. I'm just kind of using the natural light coming from uh, my window. And it gives it like a really nice little effect. Okay, so, all right. So Windows 10 uh, just came out with a new update. I just kind of, I woke up this morning and I got this huge update for my computer. And, and I got this huge creators update and it kind of did all these crazy things and added all these new apps uh, to Windows 10 as well. And as I was scrolling through uh, my desktop, just to kind of see what's new. Oh, look at that, the light's coming in again. As I was scr scrolling through, it showed that there was a new camera app for Windows 10. So, all right, so um, you know, I, I went to go see and, see and you know see how it handled it. And I connected my C922 and I was like, whoa, wow, this gives me kind of a lot of control. And I did some tests. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you right now um, exactly what's going on, how it can make your C922 the, sh the bomb. Okay, here we go. All right, so go to your desktop, go ahead, look at all your options, and we'll go straight to the camera app. All right, now here we go. Th this is initially it. Now, um, this camera right here is my, this is the Logitech C922, and this one right here is the um, the Logitech C920. I got both of them going on at the same time. All right, so we, if we can take a, take a look here, right now at the top, we can see that we have manual focus that we can adjust here, all right? And we also have manual exposure, right? Exposure compensation. So I can play with my exposure right here. All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn all of these off or just kind of leave, leave, it, uh, leave it alone. All right, and, I, and as, as well from here, right here you have a settings and I have a gamut of settings here. I can either use, I can either do photo or photo burst with my camera. I can choose the aspect ratio of, of my camera. And this is all using the C922. Okay, and it's giving me, it's giving me additional options. I can put a grid so I can line things up, which is really cool. All right, I can even do a time lapse for, um, on my, with my Logitech now. So that, that's, that's, that's freaking awesome. All right, and plus, naturally, it, it, it sees what you have set for your camera. You know, all the options that are available for the camera. 30 frames, 24, 25, 15, all for 1080p, and then lower resolutions. I even have an option here for 1280 by 720, 60 frames per second for the camera because that's what it supports. And it's all built right here into your Windows 10 update. Okay, flicker uh, reduction, you can do auto, 50 hertz, 60. Uh, we're, we're NTSC, of course, so we want 60. And it gives you the, the, the option to have to save wherever you want uh, your photos, you know, save it to whatever specific hard drive you want or location. It's all there, uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's also got some other things as well. All right, so let's, well, all right, so let me show you what, uh, what's going on here. What's, what's to that? I actually missed this one. Change camera. I can change the camera? No way. Yeah, no, oh, that's, okay. Uh, OBS is using that camera, but that's freaking awesome. That is freaking awesome. Okay, so it gives me the option to take pictures with my camera, so cheese. Okay, I can do that. And I'll go back to the actual recording camera. And let's uh, let's go back to my options. And from here, I can do some initial adjustments here with the autofocus or maybe the, uh, the exposure compensation. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to open up my settings. Oh, where'd you go? Okay, there you are. And I have, I can, I can control the actual settings Right here, it'll give me some more additional options that I can use with. I can play with my white balance, and then for the color intensity and brightness. Now, for some reason, um, within the Pro Stream, uh, the Advanced Settings app, it's not bringing up the Advanced Settings. So I guess all I can all I can do is just uh, I can bring up the gaming software. Where'd you go? All right, and then it'll give me access to the Advanced Settings. And then here, of course, I can do um, everything I want. I, I can uh, manipulate the exposure if I like. Um, and of course, play with the other settings as as well. But I'm not, I'm not gonna get too much into that. I just, I just, wanna, I just wanna show you exactly what kind of, oh, look at it. And of course, the sun goes down, so I'll go ahead and add a little light to it, a little, little gain. Or maybe I'll play with the exposure. No, no, exposure is fine. 
you know, we're doing this live. We're doing it live. Okay, so you still have access to all your camera settings with the Logitech settings software and also the, uh, the gaming, Logitech gaming software. So you can tweak your settings, get it right, and then you can jump straight into the camera settings, which, give you so, which gives you some kind of essential setting settings, uh, such as focus or the manual exposure if you need to tweak, thing, tweak things differently comparing on your lighting situation, but you really don't need to tweak much. Um, you know, I actually kind of like the, 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 the window light. Looks pretty cool. good. Looks really dramatic. Okay, so what I like about the, the camera uh, the camera app itself with a new Windows 10 update is now that you can actually record your video. With the previous app, you couldn't record anything, you would, and you would have to record with an external software like uh, OBS. And what, what I had issues about OBS was that, yeah, you can record, but it never showed you what your true bit rate is. You never knew how really, what was the, the quality of your video, and you never knew what, what the true frames per second was uh, with an OBS as well, because you were recording with a with an external source that was recording your display. It wasn't, re, re, it wasn't really recording the f direct footage of your camera, which was really weird in itself. Okay, so, but from here, I get those things. I get what the actual bit rate is when I'm recording, and I also get the frames per second. So I'll go ahead and I'll just press record, you know, and we'll, we'll just, we'll just here and I'll just move a second and all that stuff and I'll stop the recording and then I'll go to my folder where I actually have it saved. Okay. And it's right here, here, here's the actual video. All right. And then when I right click and go to properties, we can sh we can see here that it was it's recording like 16 megabytes a second at 29 frames per second. Now, how do I know this number is true? Well, okay. So I'm gonna mess with the exposure so I can crash the frame rate all the way down. So you can see that I'm actually getting a true representation um, of what the camera is actually doing and what the camera is actually re or what the the software is actually recording. So exposure, I'll blow it out all the way to I'll raise it up to something like 12 one. Okay. All right. Well, okay, let's go away. Goodbye. And now you can see. All right. So the camera's struggling, right? In OBS, I would do the same thing, but it would still show like a 30, 30 second uh, frame rate. So let's record this. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. Let's go back to the folder. Where'd you go, man? He's, he's hiding from me. All right. Um, no, I forgot where the folder was already. Okay, camera roll. And now we see it right here. There goes our, our size details. It's now recording at thir uh, three megabytes at five frames per second. Are you kidding me? I mean, yeah, I mean, that's cool. All right, so let's bring it back down. So with, with the actual software, with the actual software, we can see that we're actually recording those uh, the true bit rate and we're actually recording the true frames per second. Let me let me go back to OBS and I will show you exactly what was going on as well. Okay, so here's OBS. And that's a previous camera that just kind of failed on me. I'll go back to my video capture device here. Let us bring up our C22. Nope. Uh, where are you? C22. Okay. All right. So here we are. We're back. Now, I'm, I'm going to jump straight to the point, camera control, and I'm going to blow out the thing. You, you, and you can actually see how the frame rate is suffering, right? All right. And I'll go ahead and I'll start recording. All right. Let's stop it. And now let's go to our recording. And where did you go, buddy? Is this it right here? Yep, that's it. Okay. And now watch this. 24 megabytes, okay. But it's saying that I'm recording at a resolution of 2K. And then my frames per second is 30 frames per second. We both, we all, we saw it. Let me fix this. So yeah, so we saw it. That was not 30 frames per second. That was like maybe two, three frames per second. And OBS doesn't kind of give you a true, true thing. And especially if you're just, if especially if you just want to, if you just want a separate recording, 
why, why, why am I looking at the light? Especially if you just want to uh, record just the camera alone on its on a separate thing without you know uh, conflicting with OBS or anything. The the Microsoft the Windows 10 camera uh, app is a great way. And I and, and tell you the truth, before I got the C the C922, and I was just using it just to prepare videos, just to give you examples, put videos together, so I could talk about the camera. But ever since this Windows 10 Creators Update came out. I actually have a reason to stick with this camera and use it on a daily basis, and and I am, and and I'm ready to do that. Uh, thank you, Windows 10, for their update, uh, for doing what Logitech did not. All right, C922 users, if you found out this is if you found out this video was helpful, go ahead, leave a like. Check out my channel for other videos as well um, with the C922 and other audio and video shenanigans. Uh, go ahead, and subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about. Windows 10 creator update or connect your webcams or anything or anything related. Let's have a discussion in the comments below. I'll get back to you. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Hope it helped you out. I'm sticking with the C922 because the camera looks damn good. Um, and I think I might start using more window light as well. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.